Alrighty, we should be live now. Um, one last game for tonight. Cool. Alright, so welcome back, Ocean Squiddies, to another match between this time Division 3 Cocroctus um, and this is Blooper Reel for the week 3 rounds. Uh, my name is Shido and I will be commentating for this game. Alrighties. So, just about on the way almost. And we. This is a very late. Um, very light night, night indeed. Um, surprisingly, I did not know this would go on till 1am. Alrighty. As well, so while we wait for um, the members of Crococtus to join in, um, let's switch over to the map list and roster so we can introduce everyone. Oh, there's a very long roster. I think I remember this actually. Um, so for tonight's game, we have the week three rounds, and that will be map list's Splash Zones Gobi Arena, Tail Control Anchor V Games, following by Clan Blitz Ariana Mall, Rainmaker at Schellendorf Institute, Splash Zones at New Albacore Hotel. Tower Control at Wahoo World, Warrior Towers at for Clamblitz, Rainmaker at Kelp Dome, and Spat Zones, oh, the last one again for Skipper Pavillon. So that is our games 1 to 9. And for the members here, we have on Crocter's side, we have Machi, Boon, Tab, Broys, um, Elsie. <laughs> you, uh, how, do, how would you pronounce this one? Um, uh, what's it say? Uh, what's it say? Kli. Ekli, yeah. Ekli, uh... Yeah, that, that's close enough, I guess. Um, Larex, Rambi, Taz, uh, Fek, and Ikan. While Blooper Real, they have Rambo as... Checkers, Potato, Pit Viper, Jamboy, Cinderia, and Glark. So, a couple of names I'm familiar here with, especially from Blooper Real's side. And a bit of Krakota's side. So, interesting to see what sort of game this will turn out to be. This is the last one for tonight, so let's do it. We're all set, and um, I believe all the members are already in. We're just waiting for them to start. Okay, switching over to the gameplay now. So who will be our alpha? Our alpha will be um, Blooper Reel. Okay, cool. I'm glad this this switches really nicely indeed. Alrighty, so Gabby Arena Splat Zones. Um oh I know we will see Gabby on the snipe. We most likely early some long range weapon. And perhaps Krokoth this will also follow through as well with long range weapons too. I mean there's a lot of action that does happen in Gobi Arena for Splat Zones here. So we will be seeing uh, there's not much flanking you could do except for the back of it. When you go around to the back, you can flank from the long range points, or you could go from the pillars and just jump over on the left side. So those are the, those are the flanking points of this map, and I believe that will be pretty much key for both teams to see how how they play it out, or will they just have big choices, pretty much tussle and fight over it. So up to, up to them what they really want to do here, and. The blooper real, they're they're already they're already set and ready pretty much here. They know what they're gonna be running here, and they're quite confident indeed. Whereas got this, they're still actually just deciding what they want to run here. But anyway, time to pick a weapon because ten seconds already on the clock. Alrighty, so here is our first match now. And 
this is uh, just as I was saying, uh, what's pretty much right here. We do have, we do have the the SSP as well, following the custom jet sculptures and also the Fantastic as well. The SSP standing for uh, Splatter Shop Pro. And on the other side, we do have actually just um, T Tech as well with um, heavy. Ooh, I'm flashing it. Likes will be following that to that splat bomb. And oh, ooh, semi wipe actually for the members of Crafters. So Baby Real taking this very aggressively indeed. And just as I was finishing up, they did have the Wobbler here and also the Slusher as well. So a beautiful, very beautiful pairs and for the ones, they have a bit of a run speed, main power up too. As well as a bit of uh, main power on the other side too and a bit of up. Uh, last ditch too, effort. Very interesting to see. So anyways, back to the gameplay. We do have Bubbles now approaching the middle. It looks like this does definitely wants this counter and it's almost going to get it actually. Probably should have spread it left to right, but then there will be no way to really pop it all anyways. But very good usage here, it does sort of stall a little bit, by him, but they're already on this. They're getting splats here and there, and they're taking out the members here. But it seems to be finally that this might have this, but the, the Ancient on Gabby just proved to be too much. One of the three of them will just push it back indeed. So the penalty was clocked on, but they're already on this. Reducing now Gabby with the T-Tech just taking this across and I was actually wrong about Gabby going long range. Apparently it's just gonna be the other way around. Oh, we'll be falling out to the two members of Crocrot this unfortunate here. But now special is up here, we do have Inchet now available while the members of Loopy Real they're down so far and Crocrot this might be able to finally catch up here. Maybe we might see a little bit of a sneak action here, a little bit of a sneak from tabs anyhow. Inchet is available too and I don't think Gabby is aware. Now she is, actually. And ooh, will we actually be able to counter that before Inchit comes out? A little bit of a teleportation. Um, not sure if the disconnections happen. We'll have a little bit of a check. No, slice. Okay, that we're all good. But we'll check on the. Yep, yeah, seems to be okay too for the. Looks like a little bit of a teleport right there. But, anyways, not to worry here. So Gabby managed to pick up a beautiful splat here, and still aggressing Ashley on the right side here, even picking up the, the long range of the heavy. Gabby is going all out pretty much here, and as a long range um, weapon user, definitely, um, Gabby definitely knows the position that they're at, and how far her weapon can reach compared to this. And a nice, another beautiful ink jet too for Gabby here. Well played. Um, well, we still have Tab here who's going for a little bit of a 1 2. We'll be able to pick up Rambo, but we'll be falling down to Gabby instead. And I believe that will be game 1 to. Blipper Real. <laughs> At least I believe I haven't really double checked. Yeah, Blipper Real. I haven't really double checked the rosters properly. But congrats to Blipper Real for that amazing victory there. Beautiful nine spots from Gabby, definitely really showed what it's like to be a long range user and then just worked on their all their points, their snipe points and just catching them out, the members one by one. Oh Crocot this is his end. Alrighty, so now our next match will be at Tel Control Anchor V Games, and I don't think there's any subins happening at this point. I believe it's going to be the same members here. And from there on, we can pretty much safe to say, huh? Maybe Gabby might be going for the shooters instead. Bit of a bit of a turnaround, did actually. Something something different at least. Um, uh, no, um, I don't believe so, it should, because, um, 
The Splatfest has only just uh, been received, so I don't think anything's been changed yet, but um, some of the regions are different where they'll have different um, Splatfests like Japan and Oceanic and Europe, but if, if depending on where you're from, you have a different um, Splatfest, but if you're from Oceanic, Australia, New Zealand, you should have um, Pancakes versus Waffles, pretty much. And we do actually have a, a sub change indeed. So probably give give it a little bit. The data might be updated pretty soon. Uh, James, uh, James is AB. And yeah, pretty much. You're from the US, okay? Um, yeah, definitely have a, have a little bit of a Google, see what your because it's, I know it's winter there, so um, check what your Splatfest will be because it is it does change uh, per to region. So it's still setting up. Um, my circuit control went down, but I'll quickly grab that up now. I hate it when that happens. It just stops responding for some reason. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, no problem, no problem. Um, you you, sh you should be okay. It'll probably change. Just give it a bit of time and just Google what your Splatfest is um, will pretty much be. If it's the frosty one, then that's probably what it is compared to pancakes versus waffles in Oceanic. And have a good day. It's cool today. So, a bit of a wait, I better check what's happening in the... We're still waiting on... I believe, uh, Bloop it real, they're trying, I believe they're gonna sub uh, someone. Or the, maybe they're having their issues, I'm not I'm too sure. Alrighty, so Blooper Real is just having a bit of an issue trying to get the sub in, but they'll, they'll be in shortly. Oops, my bad. I shouldn't do that. Alrighty, so Glock. Oh, bit of a tongue twister to Gabby and Glark. Um, so Glark will now be subbing in for Blooper Reel. And there we are, Anchor V Games Tell Control. So this was our second match here. And I'm sure this time around we will see Gabby on the snipe. I, she has played quite a lot of charges in the, um, in the tower control games, so... We should be able to see that pretty much here. If not, oh, I guess T Tech is working out fine, so I, I don't really mind. And it's up to the teams to decide what they want to run here, anyhow. But it would be cool to see. Anyhow, um, yeah, there will be probably some inkjet and ball action here on top of um, splashdown too. So I'm really keen to see how this um plays out, pretty much. So Kokotis is pretty much almost ready here while Blooper Real is just going to have a bit of a discussion just to see what they want to run here. And hopefully they decide pretty well on that. The stream link, I believe I gave it just before, didn't I? Okay. Alright, so both teams are now finally ready. 
And here we are, second match on Anchor V Games Tower Control. Alrighty, so a bit of a change here. We do have now NZAP. Ooh, a lot of main power ups here coming from the left side of Blooper Reel and comebacks too. While the other team has still has run speed with their comebacks as well. And Ninja, yeah, Ninja Roll too. So yeah, we do have the, I believe the foil with the missiles here. We do have uh, Range Blaster here too. We have the NZAP with the armor here and also the Bomb Rush from the Dapples here with the beacons. So now, ooh, Marcus has been in a bit of a trouble here, but we're able to through cheat safely here. Just putting that bomb burst pressure indeed. Working very well. Stingray now available for the members of Concoctus. And while the two members have fallen, we still have Tap to use by themselves. Many to pick up the Splat here. And now Stingray finally come down, but Bomb Rush is proving to be. We'll have to use the L block in order to evade all those stops. And beautifully done, escape. Well done, Tab. Now, while. Well, that's all done. Ninja now available to again to be able to use, but checks to be able to get the trade here effectively. And it seems like oh, a couple, oh, double spot to both teammates as well. Um, both, uh, both teammates. Both this will have to use splash them here in order to evade the attacks of Glock, and we'll be able to pick up that splat too. And we have Rambo just coming down from, as you, as his name says, Rambo is coming down from uh, coming down from the back. Managed to pick up the splat there and just preventing any more push coming from Crocotus's end. And do you see a lot of um, one of being played out and Bomb Rush now available too. Do you see Splashdown now happening too, but it will be a bit countered by that by that as well, um, by the Bomb Rush. And yeah, Rambo is able to pick up the splat too. Now going for the L block as well and we'll be able to actually just roll in into... Ooh, Arma is actually a double. I thought that would have been. But now subs are now available for the members of Crocotus with Pincher and the Stingray. So a little bit of a stalemate still in mid, but we do see armor now available and Stingray now finally able to come out, I believe. Don't actually just ch chain my mind here with check Ooh, Ooh, a bit of a mistake there. Now the Stingray is down. A bit of a jump, one two jump there. And it will be going over to Blooper Reels then. Ooh, and checks we able to just to confirm that right there and the push is on 93 we'll have to pass the first checkpoint in order to proceed beyond and get the lead oh, do you see Gary now just inside he's working that foil range indeed and also um, Ekul and Eclair and Lux they're just managing to just pressure the Gabby to force her to go back pretty much and we are, we are looking a little stinky, stinky, but Missile is going to send Boone back. And here we are, the Splashdown will be able to pick up Rambo. Impressive, even though he, I think it was out of range, but still managed to pick that up. And that would only be the 87 push. But this having a bit, a bit of difficulty just, just managing to get effective wipes and splats here and then pushing it out. But you can see that, um, look at real, I just set to go pretty much here. And they're looking to go, and there it is, the lead taken back. So, Blueberry will be very happy with that uh, push, even though that was the wipe right there. Um, so, while on the end of... Let's say, um, Blueberry Real, we do have specials now um, going up one by one, but the members are falling really fast due to the... The sting right here. And we do see Glock manage to pick up the splat on the tower, and that will force Crocus to sort of retreat a bit. But it's only just Tab remaining as Soul Soul, and then that was that. Now we're going for the reverse option here instead. And it looking a little, um, pretty strong here for Liberty Real, which Crocus uh, need to work on just a bit in order to get the advantage back here. But we see Rambo is having a little bit of a snake on the back here. We'll be actually looking to pick up Tab here. I believe so. And, oh, actually, oh, very nice. Managed to pick up that, and now they're going past checkpoint. Well, approaching now checkpoint too, but we'll be filling them before using the the bomb rush here. But this is now available for Gabby, and we'll be launching very quickly before this members arrive. And uh, oh, Tap's getting zoned out by Gabby here. Just like the ver the the horizontal roll is just doing massive work here, just preventing the Tap from getting in. We still see that the members here are still pushing. Rambo now with the suction tensor into the 
Link Armor too, and that is going to probably seal the deal. Practice and probably no chance here, and that is that. Game number two, going to be for real. Most definitely, I mean, from that last part that we saw, we saw um, all of their special just came out at the at the same time, and they just launched it all together, and Krokotis was just like, whoa, three specials on deck. Wow. We don't have any, we don't have anything available, we don't have uh, Stingray too, and that was pretty much that. Very, very difficult indeed. Well played to Blue Real for setting up that last uh, aggressive push there. Oh no, my mouse is going to die very soon. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to put it in the e charger. Give me a bit. Um, sorry if you heard that. Okay, there we are. Okay, so check this. Um, is announcing another sub for Blooper Reel. Excellent work, just um, subbing it in and out here. I don't think the members of Krokotis um, have most of their uh, members uh, for available for tonight. So it seems they'll be running the same one, unless they aren't, they're just on standby. But it is pretty late um, after all. Maybe not for these guys, but for um, Sydney time and Melbourne time, it is pretty late. So if these guys are Western Australia, it's probably like 11 for them, or um, 10 really. Then anyway, next we will have Clan Blitzer Ariana Mall. And we'll see who will be subbing for Blooper Reel. Oh, there we go. So, a bit of issues, but yeah, it's a bit slow tonight with the subbins. Just, just, you know, it's what's here all the internet lag, really. And finally, Pit Viper is now subbing for Blue for Real. Also, to anyone who's watching the stream, thank you in advance for following, and I hope you're enjoying this Diff Vision 3 match. Hello, LO247. Welcome, welcome. Mm, so, Clamence this time around, um, maybe, maybe we might see a brush here. Just, uh, just an omen, but that's just me, personally. Um, but here we're all ready now. We'll watch to see what the weapons are for this clan blitz are in more. Because um, there's a lot of ways to do this. You could take this straight up, and you could take the left alleyway instead. But I think shooters and long range will be able to sort of play a part in that. Because we did see like from before the previous divisions that we're using Bob Blue and Sloshing, and that cut a lot of pressure just on the left side of the alley when they tr every time one team wanted to push in for the clamps. So anyways, as I was saying, we do have a Dapples this time with a, with a bucket, and that is going to be main power with the Nuzzle Noise. Yeah, actually everyone has uh, main power up on the members of Live Real. But we do have a bit of comeback and respawn. 
uh, respawn up for Kratos instead. So now two members are already down for Blue Crew. And, a li and it's pretty even in clamps so far, but Checkers is already first to do so, but will be held down by Kratos' Zen. And this is looking very strong indeed. If no, actually, the three, no, three members are actually down for a loop and reel now. This could be the chance that Crocodus needs. They just need one more. Boo needs to get in there and then be able to shoot. Yep, there we go. And then now also Ball and now Combi too, but not be able to pick up anyone. But two members are still already out anyhow for loop and reel. And Larks here won't be able to pick up this Blad on Pip Viper, unfortunately here. But Crocodus will be able to set up once again anyhow because they still have the ink control. And here we are once again. A little bit of a, a, a very aggressive push, even though no one has clamps. Um, coming in from tab, actually. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. But here we are anyways. We have a, we have a lot of fighting here happening. Yeah, Gabby picking up the splat now. There's Stingray available and also ooh, picking up tab as well. So... We do have Stingray available, we have Bolo available, we also have Bubbles available, it's a lot of specials there. On the other hand, we have Splashdown now building up here, Inkshirt into the Bolo. Wow, her last would be falling down to check us there. And I believe this will be the setup here. Ooh, might be able to pick up Tabs here, but Rambo next in line here. Ooh, wanting to pick up something here, but no, we'll be falling down, and there goes the special there. Here comes the Stingray with possibly the Bubbles here, but I don't think so. No, unfortunately not. That would be that. So maybe Pit Viper is planning to use this a bit defensively here, but we do see actually the members of this here setting up down left side on the alley. But ooh, a little bit of a teleport here. I don't know what happened there. Picking up the double splat on Blooper Real. Now that's going to put them in front definitely with their 20 clamps. Bolo now available, and there we are, the, the break in that basket. I think just Brute now playing defensively here with that rapid blossom. That's paying off they just spamming it on the um, outside of the wall here. And you see, just the front is at the wall. Even the ancient up close. Unbelievable here. Well, Gabby will be able to narrowly escape that. But now finally falling down indeed. And Brute now next, but the basket will be closing here. Unfortunately, couldn't get that in time. But um, it doesn't matter. Crocus is in a beautiful lead here. And um, Marx is now actually setting up once again. So we'll see ooh, Rambo chasing for this one, but we'll be going back with does recognize the sub bomb here. And you can see here La oh Lark's getting a bit pincered here, but oh, no, Rambo's not inside anymore. Able to move around and shift for a bit of clamps this time. So we are checking here, but Rambo was in their basket here. I wonder if they were trying to jump in. Yep, they were trying to actually jump in. I missed that just before. Gabby okay, was trying to set that up, but being very still available anyways. But the pressure here is immense from the pocket because they're pushing in. Like, like no tomorrow, really. With only Gabby left here to defend, last will be able to get that in here. And able to get the splat too as well. And this is excellent pressure coming from Kakarthus' end. So if we tap- Ooh, that's five really four taps was gonna ball there. Um, and ooh, they're actually still aggressively go going ham here. They're, they're not stopping even though they got two clamps. I think they just want to stall for as long as they can, pretty much. But that sort of leaves with Gorill to be able to get a chance to. Yeah, here, check is here now sneaking some clamps in. Even though three members are down. They only. Um, Protus only has three. I'm oh, sorry, six. No, actually, they got enough now. Well, they, at least they should have enough. Inkstorm now available here. And. Oh, actually, no, there we go. There's the jump setup from um, Checkers earlier. And there we are, Pit Viper made to get that in. There we are, 1 2, 1 2, 1 2. And we do see the members now coming in from behind here. Oh, it's a bit of a, bit of a tight spot. We have a little bump rush from behind him. Remember, we'll be able to pick that up. Big defense plays here. Oh, I'm picking up last one before going down to the HM last. Alright, so now that is their final push from Liberty, I believe. And it seems like Crocus will be able to just defend here. The last five seconds of, I don't think, overtime, but... Yeah, and that will be that. Game number three will be going down to Crocotus's end. <coughs> Excuse me.
so excellently played by Crocodus. Cro I'm having a bit of trouble now pronouncing it continuously. By the, the members of Crocodus, um, they managed to pick up the win here, and what really kept them going was just the momentum they had. They just kept going aggressive here, and they just did not stop whatsoever. One, as soon as they got that basket broken, they just kept going in, and Blue had plenty of specials available, but they held onto it a bit, a bit too long, really. And every time they went down, it just resetted. So they'll have to be a bit more aware with um, how long they're gonna be actually holding their specials out, especially when a, no one has, no one in the team has clams, and they're going really ham at the basket. It's a, a very um, heroic move, but definitely you don't want to forget about the objective of the game. Anyhow, we do have now Rainmaker at Schellendorf Institute. So, like I said in the previous division matches, you have three ways to take this. You have the ham down in the middle, straight in. The left side of the, um, or just from the roof. And you have the roof itself just to jump down from there to either left or right. So, a lot of ways to take the Rainmaker in this map. And, no, yeah, pretty much we'll see from there. I'm sure that these two teams will run pretty much similar compositions, or at least the the same ones they had before, but changed a bit. Mm. There's not really much of a change with the composition, so yeah. Uh, it's okay. I I don't see any issues with it, and both teams are definitely enjoying what they're what they're running here. Anyway, we'll uh, enter the last ten seconds here, and Krokotis will have to decide on the weapons before time is up here. Because it's super real, I'm ready to um, throw it out once again. Alrighty, it's game time. Rainmaker at Shalendorf Institute, let us proceed. And we do see Blaster with um, paired with Bubbler, which will work well on the roof, and also the custom, um, custom Jet Scorchers. We do see ooh, three comebacks here with uh, main power up and the other side having respawned into sub into comeback. And we do see here now the early pop indeed and ooh, check out Gambi. This time now finally on the um, sniper here. Uh, no, from the previous game, but this time actually using a charger here with the stingray. Uh, unfortunately, that was the early pick up on the Rainmaker, but nowhere to go, unfortunately. And Gabby will be the remaining sole survivor here against um, Krokotis' onslaught. And the, the blaster is putting actually excellent pressure here. While we do have Lux just pushing straight in the middle, will be unfortunately uh, stopped here. But Krokotis is still going actually. They do have um, Eclair and Broom actually. And they could take this up actually. Broom just has to get off the but the special on that mist. This just stopped their advance. They couldn't move because their movement speed was reduced. And there we are, beautiful push by Krokotis in the first um, minute of the game. Well, really well played. So, Blueberry will have to take this a bit slow here. And they do have one of the Rainmakers picked up while they had a special, so unfortunate no um, Ink Storm this time around. And what we do see now, Sting Rain now available and popping off here. We see, I believe Gabby got to get a couple of splats anyways, protecting from the roof side. Yeah, one two pops here, but um, Crocodus are looking to set this up here. If, if Gabby should probably move the Rainmaker away here before it different goes to the enemy side. And there we are, just like I said. Oh, no, it's gonna time out actually. And oh no, Pipe managed to, to steal here and going all in here, but uh, we'll be catched out by um, Crocodus's members here. Well, There's a lot going on here, but um, yeah, well. Now we do have oh, a lot of splats here and a lot of pops as well. That Rainmaker is going nowhere and so is um, both teams. We see the Pip Viper is... Um, now finally, um, the side of Liberal, they're a bit clearer now. Ixorm now coming down too, which will be able to enable them to get a bit closer to the goal. And here should come the push, but the splash down from um, Eclair is um, punishing. Yeah, they managed to pick up Pit Viper here, but Rambo now will uh, so many to low. Ooh, and then I think Rambo will be taking this straight mid, but we'll be pinned by three of the members of Crocodus here. We'll check as we'll be able to pick one up on the splash down on the roof. And I believe that will be that, but Gabby is still here, sniping from the roof. But we'll be dropping down to do this thing right here. 
very soon, I believe, if one of the members manages to pick up the Rainmaker. Ooh, the one through on Boom. Excellent, excellent snipe indeed. And here we are, Rambo. Now, Pit Viper also in too, but we're far down to the members here. That's the thing, we're coming a little bit too late here. But Checkers is still around, it does not matter. Grothus only has 50 members here, but. No! Perhaps. Oh, I thought Checkers was actually going to go down here. Oh, Checkers is actually just going ham! Does not give. Does not give any. Does not even care in the world. Just wants, just wants that lead, and that was beautifully played. That went 20 up from what I thought it was going to be a stop. And Tabir looking to be going on very aggressive here. So two members of Blooper Reel done, but they're they're really punishing the side of uh, Blooper Reel here. You can see on the map here that they just. They just really don't want them to proceed even further than what they did on the 28. Because that really definitely hurt here. And here we are, Che- Ooh, members are falling down one by one here. Checkers is now available on that Rainmaker here. We'll be able to make the push here. Ooh, going the right side. You see the rail? That was really smart here. We'll be falling down to the mist, unfortunately, the members. No, there is actually- I don't know, they're all up, actually. So the sole remaining survival was Pit Viper, who managed to crawl back out. But it doesn't matter anyways because they can set up once again in the last 50 seconds here. And um, hopefully they they do get to achieve what they're after here. Pit Viper now on the side too, but we'll be going down here. Gabby's still on the snipe as well. Stingray almost available, but Eclipse will be able to get the sneak um, splat on the Gabby, unfortunately. We do see Splashdown now using effective here just to zone a little bit, but the Inkjet is being a bit of a nuisance. Now, Lux here has two choices to either take this into their area, or just hold on to it pretty much, but it seems to be this is the right choice here. Ooh, a bit of a... Ooh, wow, managing just to, um, just to psych out Gabby there. Max is still in control of this as well, but Pit Viper will come in. This thing right now will come in, but um, I don't think the members here will have enough time here. Gabby is the only one who's in the vicinity. We'll have to go back here, um, I believe. Did they get the pop? Someone just has to pop it, and Crocodus only has to pick it up here. But, oh no, that'll be game time up. Yeah, a little bit of a battle with that at the very end, but really only... Crocodus really needs to just pop that Rainmaker and then pick it up, and that would've been game. Or, if it happened to go to Blooper Reels, then... Yeah. That would've been the other way around. So, congrats to Crocodus for their victory on game number 4. Yeah, mm, color is a bit um, disorganized again. I'll have to sort that out in the next game. And here we do we see a sub, I believe. Um, is it Blooper Reels? Um, yeah, it is Blooper Reel again. Yeah, so Kokotus, um, I think they only have those four members available for tonight. I don't think, even though the list is like doubled. That's all they're using for tonight, is Burian, Lux, Tab, and uh, Eclair. Uh, Eclair. Uh. So we'll see who they're subbing in now this time. The Checkers is going to sub out this time around, so... We'll see who's coming in next. Ah, it is Clark. That's exactly what I thought. I was about to check the rosters once again. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, Spicemen's at New Abuko Hotel this time, with the score being 2 2 even. Um. We probably might just see a repeat from the Rainmaker for weapon composition, because it's it's pretty similar, except this time you just take over a zone out of the push in. But I feel like it's um it's working pretty well, and there's a lot of sniper um, points here for Gabby to use this time properly, except from the roof. So we'll see from here, and hopefully, yeah, Blooper will be able to turn this around into their favor. But we may just see Dooley's here, a bit of a blast is here too, and some bubbles too to finish it up. 
So maybe we were ready this time. And Krokoktis, who was usually ready first, um, they're actually just taking their time on this one. They want to think things through and they want to make sure they got the right weapon composition as well. So we're now approaching 5 seconds now, so Cocktus will have to lock in what they already have before the time runs out. Hmm. Okay. Here we are, game number four. Ah, uh, sorry, five. I do see customs jump with a splatter shot into the T Tech, and is that going to be come back? And yeah, it seems like they run the um, specials almost every game. But do you have Object Shredder? I don't believe Gabby changed that from the Rainmaker game, which might be which might be a mis uh, mistake. But Crocus will take this really early here with the splats and they have control over the zone. Rambo will be have to be ducking and running here. We'll be able to pick up the splat in the end anyhow. And here we are. Lark's able to set up on the bridge, but we do see the members here. Oh, Gabby picking up the snubble on that splashdown actually. Definitely working out well. And that is the T take on Gabby as well, I just realized. Um, also, I didn't get to cover the other team. Um, comebacks into sub -bomb. So it seems like everyone's just playing the same thing that they did their previous games. Now, bubbles are now available for the members of um, of Blue Real here. Specials now going down for Crocus's end, so it's only just the bubbles now available here. You see Splashdown now used uh, defensively here, just maybe just to save um, um, Eclair's own life. We have Bomb Rush now coming in hot. Tab will have to move out of the way for that one. And it is going in nice and firm. So, Crocus will definitely want the penalty here. And there we are, the 44 on Blue Burial. 23 on penalty remaining for Crocus's end. So, they should be able to go pretty far here. But we see Pit Viper and Rambo will be taking the south side. And Crocus, um members here, um, Brune and, uh, and Clay will be able to set the front end, so it's going the opposite way, but Bubbles here, and will be counted by Inkstorm, and actually, both members will actually just get wiped out here, and th these two are, they're just having a party here, honestly, they're still hanging around from the front lines, and they're like, huh, oh, what happened guys, and here we are, they're still alive, and, and uh, rolling, and just as I said, they were rolling, and one of them does manage to fall down, but, um, Crocus are now in the lead still here with that uh, 30 remaining on their timer. We see uh, Rember and we uh, see the members of Blooper Reel now coming in hard here. Gabby has fallen down before getting the special up, but uh, it's it. Five seconds is remaining and bomb, bomb rush is up as well, but uh, we'll be trading off here. Uh, they pe 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 oh, we want to get that save! Very well played here, and the penalty is also up too, I just realized. Bubbles now available too here, and that was a pretty close shave for the members of Blue Real here. So while Bubbles now available, um, Pitfire will use this time to regroup and... Oh, still actually... Oh, we'll be able to pick up another spot, but um, Omas, one of the members, just, just fell there. I believe there, the tab, Omas fell in the water there. So we'll see what it's like for what this is and uh, especially now building up here. We see the chip now finally available here. Remember we'll be caught out from using the, the bomb rush. While well, Inkstorm now available too. And that will be able to turn the tide just a little little bit here. Penalties reset as well. And this will have to restart from the start once again. And it's pretty tough when you're 3 to the 19. So a few members have been um, falling down here, but Crocodus still has time indeed, because Blooper Reel has a very long penalty to get through, and even though that's the 60 reset, they, they still got a long way to go. Now, special now building up here, we do see Inkstorm now available, 
He's all splashed down, going down, not be able to catch down anything, but probably just to save um, Gabby's own life here. And Tab will be forced to retreat here, unfortunately. Oh, Burst Bomb also putting a little bit of pressure, but now Tab's is finally able to come in here. Pick up the spot here into the, the injure here. And here we go, one, two, getting Gabby, and also Glock, beautiful snipes on the Incha from Tab. Well played, and in the remaining 40 seconds, the penalty has been reset. But now, oh, so the members of uh, Blueberry as well. Well, Glock and uh, Gabby still remain. Well, now it's just actually Glock where the members have to respawn here in the last 25 seconds. It's still going strong for the members of Crocodus here with their Incha and also the double um, Ink Storm. A lot of pressure indeed. You see Tab just in a little bit of a tussle here with Viper. We'll be able to send that away. And that's it. Time is actually just up there. And Crocodus has the game back in their, in their win. Unfortunate for Blooper Rule, that was pretty close indeed from the start. But Tab was able to pick up the splats when he really needed to for the team here and there, and that really set back Blooper Real. And I believe the Ink Storm definitely really hurts indeed to have two of them. Uh, whew, it was definitely tough to beat. But anyhow, we're, we're still far away from. Any um anyone's game it's still two three and our next one we should be turf control tower control at Wahoo World that is correct awesome we're gonna be running the same members here or actually our uh, pit viper was actually sub oh no wait um actually checkers is now in pit viper is still in but Gabby's still in so Rampart's in still so. Who left from their side? There's um a Glock, yep. Keep forgetting. There were the only five who were playing, I believe, for tonight, so I should be able to remember that pretty easily. I don't know why. Anyhow. And Now, just a bit of a way here, just to see what, um... Blue real gonna be running here, and also got this. I don't really have much to say for Wahoo, but it's sort of the map that, um... You can sort of turn it around here and there, and... It can be anyone's game, and the sort of thing that it, the longer you hold, the longer um, you'll have the advantage. So... If you push past checkpoint two, you probably guarantee that you're already in the um the opponent's spawn point and just looking to camp and pretty much from there. And it'll be it's very good to combine that with the super jump too, because it just means that they can keep coming in endlessly, even though if they get splattered. So we'll see from here we might see some super jumps, but we might see main power up and sub um sus uh sub saver will still be the same. Or we'll see bowlers or any sort of long range too, like Bobba. And we do see the blaster into the jets, um, the jets gotcha. And actually, Dolly's this time. And actually, no, everyone's shifted off from main power up for except for Rambo. While comeback and respawn punisher, uh, blaster and respawn up will be available for Crocodus's members. We see the fast play already. Uh, coming down to... Oh no, actually, now they're even, but... The characters are a bit of a hole here, and check us we will come from the back here. Man, no one has noticed, actually. Yep, now they have, but it is too far too late, and check us we will get that third one, and one more, indeed. Oh, I believe just jumped out of there, or was that Lux just remaining for the sole survivor of um, the characters? Is it? Uh, check us, um... Blaster is looking very strong indeed. We'll have to be forced to splash down that. I, yeah, I picked up Tab as well. Just swim down under it. Um, on his own free will. But here we are, we do have beautiful pressure coming out from Gabby's Stingray. And, and this is exactly what I was talking about. If they reach checkpoint 2, they're just gonna keep pushing really. And this is exactly what's happening here. 
All the specials are now over, except for Stingray. Another Stingray actually available. That is a double Stingray indeed. And here we are, Pip with the remaining one. Checkers will finally fallen down, and that is the 20 push. Very beautiful push indeed to complete for real. Yeah, and the Stingray is already available too. They'll have to keep dodging here and there, but they'll tap to get out of that with the Ninja here. A little bit of pressure on the long range here. I'm saying, I'm um, kind of sick of this double. Uh, the long range of the double stingrays, so, uh, but no man, the game says nah, <laughs> we're still going fam. Alrighty, so we do here see a little bit of action with the slush here. Do try to be stopping pit by finally going down now. And I believe that is all the push that the Crocodus is going to do here. It's the 97 here. Check and see, ooh, where we thought it's that? The Autobomb will be able to catch anything here. We have the setup once again, just on the opposite side. And now it's Crocodus' turn to sort of push in. But uh, Gabby and um, Pivot are doing some excellent work here with the slime. But here we are, Gabby's still here with the slime. Ooh, picking up that snap slime on Boo. And oh, Autobomb will be forcing Gabby to retreat here. But a lot of specials are now available, including double Stingray. But actually, just the one now, but into the splashdown from Checkers here. Three members Ooh, going against three members again. Checker is just taking all of them at the same time. We do see um, a clear who will have to be forced back from Checkers as a uh, uh, blaster. I have to respect that range. But that's matter now, they're back on it again. And we'll see if um, a clear will manage to pick up uh, more points for the Stingray. So here we are, it's now actually happening for the other end. But Stingray will be forcing. Um, the members to move here. Ooh, and I believe um, well, the clear is actually still around, and all the members of the club is just jumping in. They're able to avoid getting camped out there. But check is doing some beautiful work here with Rambo as well, and Stingray too, just to follow it up. Oh, counter to counter Stingray actually, I don't think they'll be able to get anyone here, but um, yeah. Oh, interesting to see. Um, we see a bit of a down there. Two members are down for Bipper Real. Oh, sorry, could call it this. Um, well, several Bipper Real now, uh, actually. So, we've got a minute, a minute here left, and um, the push is still going in Kokotis' favors. Uh, favor. Stingray, um, especially now available, and Fizzy Bomb now going out. Ooh, not be able to catch a guy there, unfortunately. We see the. Um, Sting right here, Ben Fire is in that mid shot there, but Max will be now forced back with the inspiration of that ink jet. And they're still pushing in pretty strongly. Splashdown to also confirm that too, just to force them off. But Rambo managed to pick up Anna, oh no, sorry, Rambo Checkers, I believe. Let's pick that up, and Gabby, who's still here in the back, was able to set up Sting right once again. 20 seconds left, and it doesn't look like they'll be able to do much. If I will have to watch that sub, and def definitely amazing this time. You see, a lot of Stingrays, every special is almost up, honestly. Uh, there we are. One Stingray, we might see two, two Stingrays for the price of one. There we are, and uh, oh, actually, didn't manage to get anyone, but Crocodus is still pushing it in. They're going Booyah because they didn't get anyone. And that's that. <laughs> Crocodus um, just walked out the tower, and Pip was like, uh, Yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, mine? For the taking. Uh, very chill ending there. Blooper Real has got this in the bag. Maybe there was a sub, because I was looking overhead. That was probably on the tail, but, uh, yeah, I mean, they just, they just peaced out. <laughs> They're like, uh, you guys can have it, I guess. And I was like, oh, people was like, cool. Awesome. Okay, uh, so now the scores are even to even. This is really looking to be like a game nine. Like, um, again, this is getting pretty close, and it is over at two a.m. Um, let's see here. We we have Climblades at Moray Towers now. 
that would be our seventh game, oh, sorry, sixth game. No, seventh game, I'm reading that wrong. And then remake a couple of and skip a Pavio for Spessons. And I, I think that's the way it's gonna go, really. It probably might just end up to be a game nine, and I won't be surprised. I'm surprised all my hardware is still running pretty well. Switch has been on for like quite a long time, and so is the Elgato. Got the fan on. So, <laughs> I guess it sort of combats each other there. Um. So, I wonder how does this could you sort of use this? Game 5 straight away in. I'm just going to have a look here. Yeah, but do you see now this time, um, members of uh, Looper Real here, they have dappled all these into a ballpoint, into also, oh, sorry about that, um, into also the glass too as well. This time, um, <laughs> now they got come back into main, main power up. While the other side of Kratos will be the Roller Tenta Tech and Spatbully's Cancer and also the Rapid Master too so a lot of it is now just falling down here and uh, I think it's better Checkers just wants to set this up they have 16 available here for Libra Real and we'll see if they manage to we do see one of them now coming in hot with that oh, Rapid is just going in there uh, that doesn't give a, doesn't give a care around the world not afraid to go Rambo as his name is And, oh, no, actually, um, Gabby is still around. Oh, beautiful. I believe that was another big one, too. Because that went from 56 to 36. And I believe that's all she wrote. Beautiful push from Blue Gorilla here. Oh, Boom, we want to pick up Pit Viper. And this seems to be the other way around. Oh, the trade there. And Inkstorm now available, too. Yeah, Eclair is still waiting on that one. And there we are. Manage to pick up that one and she splashed that, but not enough time. There's something able to get that out and from the ball point too. Gonna have to move out of the way here. And there we are. But the members are still they're still going one by one. They're jumping in, but uh, Gabby's on board on point here. And ooh, ooh, ooh my goodness! All the movements are very fluid here. And they're, 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 wow, they got the lead from that. Even though Gabby was camping there for a very long time, really well played. And that was just the one lead advantage indeed. Ooh. Now that's definitely what we want to see indeed. That is definitely what we want to see indeed. Uh, if I can get this camera to work, there we go. We have the overhead now. You can see a bit more of what um, these two teams are doing here. We control is now going in the favor of this. And the penalty is actually the same, I didn't even realize. I really thought it would be one more than the other. Here we are, a lot of subs going out, a lot of bombs going out, and a lot of um, shooting going on too with the Rapid Blaster too. It's a lot of range on that one. And here we are, one of the members will be trading here. 5 to 10 clams now, we have our power, Boon will be going in. Um, the ball will be used very early there, but uh, it doesn't matter there, because Boon's coming in now, and he's able to break the basket again. But I believe that will be it. No, actually, Tapu will get that, and they splat too. And now that's finally that. So, now a lot of specials are now available. We have Bola, and we also have Splash Down 2. Checkers won't be able to set up people. We have Bola. Doesn't matter. We have Bubbles too. And, oh no. The members here really didn't use their 
their stuff one, one by one. They just went all in and just didn't synergize. From Blue Be Real. But that doesn't matter. Um, I guess they managed to get something in. But that will probably hurt them in the long run. A little Blue Be Real. Have you seen it? Oh, just straight away. Um, God, this is, they're just like, just go, just go. Like, oh, here we are again. Uh, but, oh, we'll be finally falling down here. We're going extra ham here. They definitely just want to, because of the. I mean, there's a lot of time still as well, but um, yeah, they're taking this a little bit too fast here. But hey, I guess if you're on the pressure inside, just, just keep going, I guess. We do see another clam is now finally ready here. Check us, it will be finally setting up here, but um, I believe I should be on Gabby. Yep, there we go. But check us, we'll be falling down there, unfortunately, and uh, they still have quite a lot. Gabby now also has the bowler too. As well as Bubbles now ready this time. Hopefully they do synergize this time. Because we see the jump in. Jumping into the ball are very smart. Bubbles and that will be the break. Well, 32 and that is the lead. Well done to Pit Viper and Gabby. The last 30 seconds. So this will have to break the barrier for just just, um, just one now, um, really. Because they were able to get six more extra in. Um, and that should be the tie, but they'll still have to get a bit more after that. At least one more. Especially now coming down alive here, but the T Tech will be falling down from before here. And the uh, Ooh, Rainbow just going in once again here. And we'll be looking to pick up uh, the members one by one here. Green will be going down, and I think that will be the final push here. No, Lux is actually setting up here, and this is actually different here. We are seeing the jump in, and oh, the beautiful break, but um, oh, there we go. The, the, that's it. We be reel it down, and there's a weapon for the lead. Well done. Oh, I thought that was gonna be Blooper Reel's win, really. That turned out to be the other way around. Well, well played to the Crocotus. Um, they managed to really steal that game away. That would be game three to four with Krakotis now finally on match point here. Very interesting gameplay to see. And now we're finally on Rainmaker at Kelp Dome. So, really, these last couple games is Krokot. This is just putting a lot of pressure into They just keep going and going and going. Like, we saw. We saw Boone. We saw Tab. They just kept going in. And even when they had nothing, no special going on, they just kept going in. And, the, you know, one by one, when they fall down, the other one picks it up. And it's just like pass the parcel sort of thing. And Blue Be Real is just like, um, what are we doing against this? <laughs> they just pass it around and then like, uh, I don't really have much to do. So it's a bit hard to sort of stop that sort of thing happening. <laughs> I don't even know how to enable streaming mode. Um, Discord, I don't know if it's because I'm, I'm busy or. Look at that one, it's, it's alright, I, I don't really mind. But I guess you can sort of see what I'm running again. Uh, anyhow, here we're jumping back now into the match point game here at uh, Rainmaker. Kelp Dome. Uh, this is going pretty early here. Grab it with a little, just to take it across here, and got this. Um, they'll have to jump back here. 
Look how he's just walking in instead of actually just shooting I, I think everyone will just get the- Oh my god, that's- <laughs> That was really close, the chick is now in here too But, um, oh, unfortunately we'll be stopped here I really think if Gabby just painted instead of just walking, that would have been it But, um, yeah, I mean, even the run speed, I don't think really did much there and here we are, this seems to be the opposite way. This is what I was saying about just painting really the way my comics. That probably would have been better to swim. Um, yeah, most definitely. Okay, well, we I was able to get the pop here, but the crap is really hot on their tail here. They've got everything well, almost available here. And jet now finally available. Oh, not being able to pick up gold. Oh, really finally able to pick up Gabby here and almost ran by me too. And that will be that. So. Remember now, now Rambo's turn to do some bit of ink jailing here, if we'll be able to see it. Apparently the right side is not painted for Nuka Real. If they want to take a right, they'll have to paint in advance. But here we finally do see ink used defensively just behind the wall there. And Lux and um, will have will be forced to retreat. Oh, Tab is actually still around by four. I was going to say he was going to retreat too, but no. Ooh. Just dodge that bo uh, bob, uh, the bob was there. And Jet now available too. Oh, we'll be able to pick up that splat there too. So, this is going to be a very good setup here. Oh, the Rainmaker is actually stuck just stuck on that grate there. Um, they'll have to. I believe that's the right side, isn't it? Yeah. They'll have to take it right, like I said. They paint it now, so it should be good. Especially on available too. And that will be able to just send chickens away by that. They will have to turn around here to get the counter. But uh, no, unfortunately, we'll be able to do that in time. We'll just be able to get the one instead. And that will be all pretty much. Right, especially now available as well. Oh, but uh, it's quite, it's still, they're still lingering around actually. They, they really want this. And, uh, let's just switch over to the overhead actually. Um, yeah, we can see here, Curling Bob, ooh, very close to picking up one of them. Oh, it's just a Curling Bob Fiesta here. Ooh, that's the third one now, and um, I'm sure Jake because will be tired of that. Just wanted to get the splat here. And they're finally down now. And here we are again. But, but now finally on that Rainmaker. But the Rainmaker is just down again. And it seems to be a bit of a restart. Ooh, equally on the back here, we do see a little bit of uh, a sneaky sneaky action. We'll be, ooh, a bit of a tussle here with Pit Viper, but we'll be trading instead here. And remember, he's still pushing up as a sole member survivor. Ooh, my <laughs> There's what well, fluid movement indeed. That is going to be the Rainmaker down, but uh, well played getting that semi wipe with both ends. So that sort of stopped any movement anyhow from both teams as they'll have to regroup once again. We do see Vlogs is now finally up there. And able to sort of just take that in. And also, oh, Rambo will be able to just uh, go safely in there. So, with the last round remaining with the 5 lead, that is very strong indeed. Um, Crotus will have to get the effective wipe here and just go straight for the gate. Um, the great pretty much. Because I think that's their only option here, using the walkway. Here we are, a bit of a tussle here, but that will finally tap on that ink jet here. Check is starting perfectly with that one, and that would be the hole on the ink jet there. Buster is doing some fantastic work here, but would be probably cool. Oh, the reverse jump to psych out. I, I don't know if he's actually gonna come out on top here, but oh, finally, now Lux will come out on top there using the Ink Storm as a more advanced uh, push there. So here we are finally, now it's their last 20 seconds on to push up here, but the. Uh, yep, there we go. Ooh, on Splat, but we'll be finally going down here. Members of Blippin' Real, they're ready here. They want to deny this, and they don't have to pop this, or they can just pick it up here, and that'll be that. Game number f eight going to Blooper Real. Oh, <laughs> I knew this was going gonna go to game nine. I had a feeling. 
I had a feeling indeed. I can't wait to be uploading all four games tomorrow. The, it's like four hours total almost. Yikes. But hey, I'll do anything for the scene. Um anyhow, well played. Um notoriously what happened there as a highlight was Gabby was able to get that early five lead and that sort of really just set a big advantage for Blueberry Real already. Well, Gorkhoffers were having a bit of a trouble just trying to get in there, effectively. And yeah, that, uh, that was pretty much pretty much that. They, Blueberry Real just had to hold on, or... And that's what they exactly did for the five minutes straight. So, unfortunately for Gorkhoffers who didn't realise that Gabby went across the walkway, but um, still, it, it could it could have been the knockout, honestly, if um there was some paint instead of just the walking straight ahead. But that's fine, um, that is Gabby's choice and um, I respect that and that is still the solid win. So now we're finally entering our last game here. Skipper Pavillon Splat Zones. So I don't really have anything else to say except bubbles? <laughs> Baby bubbles? A lot of bubbles? Or just um, Inkja and a double ink storm maybe from Crocus's end. It is similar to what I believe was. Oh, sorry. Um, what I believe was. Where's that map? Spice Zones, New Albuquerque Hotel. Yep. Um. Yeah, pretty much from there. Um. Anyways, the score now is fourth four. So anyone, it's anyone's game, and uh. Finally, it's time to sell this once and for all, and I can have a good night's sleep. <laughs> okay. All right. So is he actually just the same sort of weapon composition, except with the jet sculpture? I believe that's a change. But um, we do see the blaster once again, and there, yeah, come back into member up and. Um, Respawn up in comebacks and sub, uh, uh, sub saver. Oh, early advantage now going down to ooh, early stingray. One of my early, oh, honestly, early everything splats, stingrays, and the zone capture. Triple earlies. That's why you call the early bird gets the worm. But here we are. Um, the real saying no more here. Uh, late worm will come in now and uh, we'll be able to get the zone. And here we are, splash down now, used here to catch on food. And effectively capture the zone with a 28 penalty. Now, for the Crocus' side, they do have Inksorm up. Um, Inksorm will be used here just in case Larks falls down, but um, I believe Larks will be on top anyway, so it doesn't really matter here. And ooh, Ramming Weave will catch up last, and there's a lot of fighting going down in the middle. But lead will be here soon, and Blooper Reel has taken that before the zone loss. So, beautiful work. Penalties now up for both teams, and. Still up for both teams, and. I think that will be pretty much that. Alright, so now Inkstorm once again, just hailing down from the middle, going upwards this time. Whoever has control of that ramp area, which is looking to be Krampus's, uh, sorry, Blueberry Real side. No, actually, the other way. Yeah, Blueberry Real still. Yeah, it's going to be in favor of the zone itself. That's a lot of Ink Storm coming down here from Krampus's end. I did say the double Ink Storm was going to be in play. Oh, and Tab will be able to come up on that 1v1. Gabby here will be falling down fortune to weekly. And, oh, that is going to be the wipe, actually. So, this will be able to help Crocus to catch up a little bit and get at least a couple more than 15 seconds in there. Uh, Rambo will be doing Rambo things here, and oh man, he's coming from the top there. While oh, Gabby um, also just uh, working her way down and forcing Crocus to go back. That was the lead, but now it's Blueberry Reel's turn to sort of get that sort of uh, points back. And tap now taking it in for the 1v1 here. And we'll be oops, coin ducking just under that thing right here. I believe Tap wants to take this to the left, but um, not enough jump high. And we'll be falling down to Gabby here into the smash down for nothing. I believe it was just a bit of a concern that she wouldn't confirm that. But 
who we are leading now going back to Libriel. But Kokotis is already on it and it's a lot of counter for this zone. A lot indeed. Checks it will be falling here too and uh, from behind. Uh, Pit Viper as well. And Ink Storm now available as well. And, and Ink Jet too as well for Kokotis. Um, they only need just one more to take the lead and they have. But here we are, Inkjet now available here. We also have Stingray coming up now as well, will be used here. And that will probably effectively all oh, check us into that. Wow, a lot happening there. Three specials once again, and that sent um, Crocotus into a disarray. But that yeah, doesn't matter to them. They'll just be like, haha, Inkstorm, and then uh, we'll get a couple of splits here, and this will get to be. Gabby okay, wants to come there and get the counter and put the penalty once again. That's a booyah right there. Oh, so we have Ouch here and um, we are Tab will be ooh, picking up the trade against Gabby here. So this still could be anyone's game indeed. Um, one minute remaining and Blue uh, pretty much still has zone control. But here we are, Ink Storm again being a pest and Rabbit will be sent to go back. And I believe Zone will be going, yep, uh, back to. This, and that's going to be a harsh penalty for Blue Real to try to pass up on the last 40 seconds here. But uh, here they are, starting strong anyways. They got it, and now they only need to hold this for another 60 seconds or so. But Tabby here, looking to get his way, but won't be able to be falling down to Gabby instead. But Gabby here, still reporting in, and oh, that's a lot of ink storms and a lot of shooting happening here. Last eighty seconds, we'll be able to pick up Rambo here. We'll be able to almost pick up Gabby. No, actually, Gabby will still be alright here. And Bruno will be falling down. And also, Larks too. Well done to Gabby here. We'll be able to get the control on this. But, uh, oh my god, that's the effective one. And that will be going to Krokok this. And that will be that game, set, match. And congratulations to Krokok this. Sus for the win. If I've pronounced this wrong, I don't know. Half the time. Crocotus, Crocotus. You know what? Crocotus this is this is fine. I've been saying that the whole time. Well played. Um. Indeed. Okay. And there it is. GGS. They're already out of there. Is getting late, and then I'm sure every Blue Real and Cactus definitely want to sleep, and so do I. Alrighty, thank you for joining me, and thank you once again for the follow in advance if you have followed me on my Twitch. And I'll see you, Oceaning Squiddies, next time.